Surfshark just added iOS shortcut support and we need to talk about it. What is up guys and welcome to another edition of Surfshark Academy. Now, even though I'm mainly an Android user, I can't deny that Apple has been making some really great updates over the past few years. For example, the new iOS 16 lock screen update is actually really nice. I like how you can add widgets to it, which by the way, also work with Surfshark and allow you to easily connect or disconnect from the VPN. And hey, if Apple will add an update which will allow you to put your icons where you want, then maybe I'll consider finally buying an iPhone. Jokes aside, in 2018, Apple launched iOS shortcuts. They allow you to quickly do one or more tasks with the click of a button. A simple example would be a shortcut that will unlock your screen rotation when you launch YouTube. That way you could just flip your phone to landscape and view videos in full screen much easier. Or it could be something as simple as a shortcut that sets a timer for 10 minutes. You can put these shortcuts on your lock screen or home screen, so activating them is actually super easy and fast. Now, while shortcuts are cool, you can go a step beyond and utilize automations, which I personally find way more powerful. For example, I have set up an automation which will disable the VPN connection when I open Reddit, but then it will enable it back when I close it. However, possibilities are endless because there's a lot of different different triggers you can use. To set up your own automations or shortcuts, you will need at least iOS 16 and the Surfshark app version 3.9 or later. To start, open up the Shortcuts app, which has an icon like this, and select Automation, and then create Personal Automation. So here in this menu, you will get a variety of options. Let's scroll down a little and select App. Here, pick the app you want to add this automation to. I'll select Reddit. I'll also leave this option on Is Open and click Next. On this page, let's add an action and go to the apps category. Now, find Surfshark and we will see all the available actions we can choose. Currently, you can pick quick connect and disconnect options. However, in a later update, pause and unpause will be added. Anyway, I'll use disconnect for this first action and to finish, click next and then done. So now when I open up Reddit, Surfshark will disconnect the VPN, but since I want the VPN to reconnect when I close Reddit, I will have to add one more action. For that, I will go through all the same options again, but instead of selecting the opening app trigger, I'll choose close. And Surfshark should connect when this trigger is active. Once everything is done, every time you open up Reddit, your VPN will disconnect, and when you close it, it will reconnect. Obviously, this is just a very simple example of how you can utilize iOS shortcuts together with Surfshark, but there are many, many other combinations that you can try. First is an automation that will automatically disable your VPN when your battery reaches low capacity and then reconnects when the battery is full. Another one is having the VPN connect automatically when you go to a certain location, such as a cafe. This particular automation could be very useful if you connect to the public Wi-Fi and wants to stay secure, or if you already know a particular Wi-Fi Wi-Fi that's insecure, then you can also use the Wi-Fi trigger that will activate the VPN when you connect to it. That being said, similar functionality can actually be also achieved using Surfshark's trusted network feature. Lastly, I think an automation that connects or disconnects the VPN at a certain time could be very useful. Say you could have the VPN connect at 8 a.m., but then disconnect at 11 p.m. just before bedtime. But anyway, that's just some of the examples that I came up with. I'll be interested to hear about your iOS shortcut creations in the comments below. Overall, I think that Surfshark support for Apple shortcuts is a game changer for anyone who's into customization. And if you're curious, an update for macOS will be coming at a later date. To be first to get these news, I recommend following our What's New in Surfshark video series. I'll leave the latest episode right here, but that'll be all from me. Take care.